Today, I want to go over why, to this day, I still use Apple Motion 5 instead of the industry standard Adobe After Effects. There are three main reasons why I choose Motion over After Effects. The first one is general optimization. Motion only runs on Macs, while After Effects has to be able to run on a nearly infinite number of possible hardware combinations, so Motion ends up being better optimized for the machines it has to run on, similar to Final Cut Pro. Rendering is generally smoother, and the complex 3D work being done is less taxing on the hardware than it could be. With my 2019 base model MacBook Pro, I can get work done in Motion just fine, unless I add too many particles. To be clear, After Effects would still probably run fine, but wouldn't live up to the smoothness standards of Motion. The second reason I've stuck with Motion is the deep integration with Final Cut Pro. Now this is not something that's objectively better about it, After Effects works just as well with Premiere. However, since I'm a Final Cut Pro editor, the seamless experience between the two of them is great. The first time I ever used Motion was actually because I had to modify a default Final Cut Pro title to fit within the time constraints of the project I was working on. I sent it to Motion to edit the time frame and then bounced it right back to Final Cut Pro once I was done. It was just that easy. With Motion, you can also create Final Cut Pro titles with editable text and images, which is a huge time saver for 3D GFX work. The third and perhaps most obvious reason is price. Motion is a one-time purchase from Apple of $50. That's it. If you want to use Adobe After Effects with Premiere Pro, which you probably do, that's how much you're gonna be paying per month unless for some reason you just want After Effects, but even then, it's still $20 a month. Adobe software is very expensive, and all you are essentially doing is renting it. Now, keen commenters will probably bring up the education pricing of Adobe products, which is much more reasonable. However, Apple takes the cake once again. Apple offers their Pro Apps for Education bundle for an insane value if you're a student. For 200 US dollars, you get Final Cut Pro, Compressor, Motion, Logic Pro, and Main Stage. Final Cut Pro is $300 on its own. Wow. Well, there you have it. That's why I'm sticking with Apple Motion, even if it's not the industry standard that After Effects is. I am by no means a professional video graphics artist, and to be honest, that's why I can probably get away with using Apple Motion in the first place. For me anyway, doing most 2D and 3D work, it's on par or even better than After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this short opinion slash rant video. Subscribe for more tech videos like this and visit my new website at kylenewcomb.com.